what's up guys what's going on today with basic pen testing this machine is so easy okay you can it's, basically this machine is intended for beginners and you can practice your basic pen skills if you are new to pen testing if you are trying or if you are intending to get into pen testing and make and you are looking out for some skills or to sharp your skills basic pen testing in the machine you need to get start with get start with so basically uh, first thing first after getting up the machine we need to navigate to the website or the web page of the machine and basically you need first first thing first after scanning the machine well, I will show you from the beginning. So first, we type nmap a for aggressive, sc for scanning for services, fingerprinting services, and dash p dash for searching or the ports. And you type the IP address of the machine. Okay. You run your scan. You will find three open ports for FTP, SSH, and HTTP, okay? So I did this before, I don't need to do this again. So let's go back. Then you need to scan the machine using Nikto. Well, before scanning the machine, you need to go to your host file. Well, and add the IP address of the machine and make it point to VTSAC as the host name in order to, to get the web page open. So after you do that, okay, you go to terminal and type Nikto and Edge VTSEC to scan the web page or the web server for potential vulnerabilities. So you will find that there is, uh, yes, you will find that there is a secret directory here. So this directory. You, if you navigate to this directory here, you will end up with a WordPress blog. This WordPress blog needs to be discovered and enumerated. So then you, you don't need to run the scan anymore or further. So control C, clear. That's the second step. The third step, as it is WordPress, okay, you need to run WB scan. So WB scan with this command here. Uh, yes, so WB scan, you specify the URL, okay, and don't forget to get to put secret or type secret because the WordPress directory is uninstalled in the secret directory here, okay. So the WordPress installation full path needs to be inserted into the full URL in order to WB scan to scan it completely. Then you specify the enumerate, okay. After running this command, you will get an output, and in this output, you will get the that the other name of the uh, WordPress admin session is admin. Okay. The first thing, the first thing that pops to your mind is that when the username is admin, and as we saw previously, that uh, in the black market uh, machine, that the default username and password were supplier supplier. And as we can see here that the default username is admin so why not to try admin but in typical case scenario before uh, turning into um before turning into running a boot force on the word wp login page try first with default password to save time okay so if you try to with admin, admin you will succeed in getting access. So if I go here to secret, type WP admin. Well, takes time. Okay, 
So it seems that it takes so much time to open the WB scan. Basically, the the web page of the blog is like screwed. I don't know why. So admin admin is a default or the credentials that you need to insert. Okay, if the idea of trying default credentials, okay, did not come to your mind, just try this uh, command. Uh, seems that the command has gone. Cool. Okay, just try WB scan and specify the URL vtsec slash um, secret. Then username is admin and use a word list which is um, user share dear buster then common txt run mm. yes so we forgot something And again, I forgot to say word lists. Try now. And another error. Mm, well, it needs rocks, it seems that. But sometimes this error pops up. Uh, when it pops up, you need to open, like, to make the DWB scan, scan the target through proxy. So I will use Perp Suite for this. Close, next, start, and you don't need to intercept the request. Just open up your proxy or purpose, whatever the proxy you have, and just if you get the error, okay. If you get that error, just try to open proxy. So intercept is off. Let's try now. And yes. So now we are brute forcing. Okay. So here you will see that it got an error. We received an unknown response for login admin and password admin. And as you can see, the page did not open when I typed WP admin. So that might be the reason why it displays an error. We received an unknown response for admin admin. So it might be that the worked or the correct credentials for this installation is admin admin. So clear. And from from this point on, you will open your Metasploit. And I have this opened. I will show you exactly how you do it. So MSF console, okay. You will search for for WordPress, okay. And you will use an exploit or a de or a pop shell which is um, down down okay so use exploit unix web application web wp admin shell upload okay don't forget to set the parameters here so you set the target url slash secret our host vdsec the password admin the username admin in order for the, the for the meta exploit to upload the shell and authenticate Exploit. So you see here that the handler has authenticated, uploaded the shell, and rendered meta session for us. So here, now we have shell access to the machine. Okay. So now we need to escalate our privilege. So one way to do this is. Um, let me close the library here. Okay, here is Unix privilege check that checks for privilege at privilege escalation attack vectors or privilege escalation vectors on the machine, and see uh, it, it displays 
the ways you can uh, do in order to escalate your privilege so before going ahead and download the link or download the uh, script let's first try this manually with metasploit so let's execute uh, exit from the shell y and background so now we search for uh, privilege or let's say prev okay so now let's search for post gather Let's search for the full word. So I hate waiting what we need to do with this. Let's upload, let's download the script while it's... Um, yes, desktop. So... It is downloading. Yeah. So let's extract this here. Let's cover this over to our machine and have it ready. So the script that we need to run, but first let's try manually. Okay. So what we have now scanner nope not scanner well so Linux local privilege escalation Let's try this. Use so we set the session to one, which is the session that we have using Metaprinter. Set L host to be our IP address. Let's see what is the IP address of us. Uh, okay. 192.168.119. Exploit. Hmm, didn't work. Sessions. So we have one session here, which is the www data. And the exploit did not work. Let's see another exploit.
Um, desktop Linux, Docker Daemon. Let me see this. So let's try this exploit. Use. You need to try a lot of exploits before you get root access, basically, or before you escalate your privilege. Um, set session to one. Yeah. Exploit, and I don't think this will work, but why not to try? Yes, it didn't work. Uh, okay, so let's go back sessions. Yeah, shell. So you name as a Linux VT sec. So let's grab this and search for search for possible exploits for this version. It's better than wasting time and trying out exploits randomly. Well, so let me try to upload this, okay? So let's go to back, back to our interpreter. Upload root desktop next prev sec to temp. In such a directory, let's copy over the file name. Upload. So now we cd to temp. Now we have the folder here. cd to, to the folder. Hmm. Let's drop to shell. And PTY CD But let's run the file directly next rev sec check and direct the output to a file which is output.txt chmod what the hell Okay. Let's go. 
copy. Okay, now let's run. The output to cool. Now let's download output txt to root desktop. Does it need to be kept a little? Oh, okay. I need to go back to my... <laughs> yeah. So, download output txt to root desktop. Well, it's... Case sensitive. So, now... In this terminal here, nano output.txt. Yeah, I always have typos. I always do typos. Always. So let's see what is the output of the tool Unix privilege escalation. And there is an error. It seems that in our standard mode, speed optimized, check. So we need to type, specify the mode for the tool to, to work. I will choose standard. So let's go back to shell. Copy this over. Uh, Standard output txt Am I running am I running the command correctly? So it's stuck. Well, let's see now. So I have run the command correctly, I think, but nope. So ls la download output txt to root desktop. And now let's examine the file. Well, the command worked. And while using this command, you need to search for the word warning because whenever this word is mentioned, which is warning, the tool displays the kind of privilege escalation vector that you need to see in order to have root access or to escalate your privilege. So let's search for warning. Let's 
stop this. Don't like this. Okay. So first, the first warning is says that HTC password is a critical config file. Words right is set for HTC password. So that means that its password file in the, the vulnerable machine is writable, which is a critical mistake that anyone would make when, uh, when giving permissions to files. So since the file is writable, we can override the file with our own version. So let's try to see what the file looks like. So download etc password root desktop and yeah the file downloaded so the file looks like nano root so this is the file the password file for the vulnerable machine and here you can see the users okay so it seems that all of the passwords are encrypted so if you need to escalate our privilege according to the unix privilege tool we need to override this file which is writable one way to override this file is to write our own password for one of the users and the target user in this case is root okay so we write our own password okay and Encrypt this password, put the password or the password, the put the password in the file, and then overwrite th this file. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we will copy all of those lines, okay, and touch root desktop. Password um, two nano pass. Well, let me see this desktop. I don't like. Okay, so nano. So you will paste all of those lines here. Okay, now this is our own version of the file. Now what we need to do is to create an encrypted password for the root user. So we do this by using open SSL-L. Um, okay. Fuck. So here, standard commands. So open SL password. I would say. Well, I need the password to be in another format since the password and the password file are encrypted using uh, Let's try this over So now we take this password, okay We go here to our own version of the command the file and we paste this here right after this so now this version of our password file we gonna upload this version and overwrite the current version 
again let me make sure yes okay let's go back to our metapeter so in here upload password 2 to etc password 2 Mm, this something wrong. Load root desktop password two to etc password. Now shell pty To root now here we put our own password that we created using OpenSSL not the encrypted one the one you typed in the box or in the terminal so first this is my name I'm one two three and we are roots okay so let's go to root well there is no flag just root access so this is one of the ways you get root access on the machine. The other way is, I will show you the other way. So here we will go to the beginning, scan the machine, A for aggressive, VTSEC. And we will try to exploit the FTP version because the FTP version or the SSH version might be one of them might be uh, vulnerable so we will see this in a couple of minutes so let's see what are the current users on the system so cd home so we have the user marlin spike we will try this well so we have an FTP okay and TCB wrapped something. I'm not sure this was the case here, but this is the SSH basically. So let's search for an exploit for this version. Search exploit pro. Um. So the current version is. 133c here pro activity 133c and we have an exploit here which is compromised source factor remote code execution so let's try this and I will open another instance of MSF console to search for the exploit <sighs> makes me sleepy um, okay so search for pro ftpt and while it's searching let's try to log in to ssh using the user marlin something sh at vtsec connection reset by peer wow uh, well 
I know it's stupid uh, try, but you know. So here I might need to restart the machine. I think so. So because the TCP wrapped something was not uh, shown previously. So restart. Yes, restart. Let me close the browser. We don't need the browser. And what we have here is the output we have done from this without saving. Let's play with the machine a bit while the the metasploit is searching. Why? Okay, it's done. So. The exploit we need to try is this one. Okay, so use the command, use and paste the exploit. See the available options. So we need to set the target to our host, but since the machine is restarting, we will wait for something. Maybe the machine has a change that's up here under this. So. I don't think so. Let's try to set our host ddsec. Before running, let's make sure that the machine has started. <sighs> mm, sorry. So let's close this. Why the hell is machine very slow? Okay, let's exploit anyway. Well, I don't think this is gonna work, but yeah, of course, because it's host unreachable. The machine has not fucking started yet. I'm sorry for this, but I hate to wait. Okay, let's go back to our previous root access. Close this, this. Wow, I forgot. Yeah, my session died. No problem, since we solved the challenge. But I needed to start to try the other way to gain root. Well, sometimes, or usually, it doesn't take so long but i don't know why this time screwed okay part off no problem it's disposable machine so let's again it takes 1.3 gigabyte i don't know what's the problem but let's fire it again Well, don't tell me that you will get stuck here. Don't do it. Just don't. Psst. 
Well, if it gets stuck, I will. You don't have problem with this because you know you see you saw the basic way of getting good access to the machine, the basic steps, and what we're gonna what we are doing now is trying to gain extra foothold on the machine using the FTP thing, but the machine seems to be so stubborn. Doesn't want to boot. I have been filming 42 minutes okay okay I will not let you wait more the machine seems to be stuck and at least you have known the basic way of getting the root access okay so you we used the uh, Unix privilege escalation tool to get root access and we use some we use the admin admin domain admin admin credentials then have the wp web shell okay then we got the limited shell we proceeded our way down or up let's say it's not down it's up so we moved our way up to get privilege escalation using unix unix privilege prev sec check and that's it let's see yeah it's stuck okay so the other way I wanted to do is by using since the um, since the version of the FTP is vulnerable to compromise source back to remote code execution you can basically use this exploit of Metasploit here okay and you will get definitely I am sure you will get root access as the way we did at least we'll get limited sh limited shell and then you use Unix privilege escalation or you will use um, another way to get root access but this is an extra approach to get root and since the machine is I mean it's getting me mad so basically guys I hope you find this helpful take care